my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now when many of us think about art or paintings or drawings, we really think is this pretty or is this not pretty, right? A lot of people may think that, but most of the time really, art really tries to tell you something. It's not using words to tell you something, but it's using pictures to tell you a message or it's trying to you know, bring attention to a lot of people. It's trying to let people know something is happening. Well, in this particular art festival, they're trying to tell you this one message that we need to conserve or we need to protect life in the oceans and in our seas. So, seeing the ocean on the streets. We're seeing pictures of oceans on the streets. A continuous art festival, continuous meaning it's never ending, every day it happens, on the island of Cozumel, Mexico, in the Caribbean Sea, invites artists and environmentalists, environmentalists are people who try to save the earth, from around the world to come together to raise awareness. Raise awareness means letting people know. Awareness means if you know or don't know. So many people don't know about the problem in the ocean, so they want to raise the word. They want people to know more about it. They want to tell people to know about it. But, um, awareness about marine life conservation, protecting ocean life. The festival is called Sea Walls, Murals for Oceans. So murals are pictures that are very, very big and we put them in, on walls. Those are called murals. Participants create large-scale paintings on outdoor walls to bring attention to environmental issues. To bring attention means, hey, look, look at this, we have a problem here, right? We're trying to bring attention, look at this. Each of the murals focuses on a theme or a sort of main subject or concept. Examples are the large amounts of plastic waste in the ocean, a lot of plastic garbage in the ocean, the promotion of spearfishing to ensure certain species are not harmed. So they want to promote, they want people, hey, use more spears. Uh, fish like this, don't fish like this using the nets. Because when they use their nets, they catch a lot of you know, other animals they don't want to catch. But if they use more spearfishing, then they, they can choose the animals they want, right? So this is a good thing. And sharks being killed in large numbers for soup. Again, that's a big problem. A lot of people are cutting off the fins of sharks and using it for soup. Uh, and a portrait of oceanographer Sylvia A. Earle. It's a very famous oceanographer. Oceanographers are people that study the ocean, scientists. Some of the murals are abstract, while others are literal. So we have two opposite things here. Literal and abstract. Literal is something that we can touch and we can see. So for example, a chair is a literal object. We can touch a chair, we can sit on a chair, we can see a chair. Uh, however, things like love or happiness or caring, that is abstract. We can't really touch love or see ideas. Ideas are abstract, right? Uh, many are brightly colored. Uh, however, some are black and white. Sea walls. Murals for Oceans was started several years ago by the Pangea Seed Foundation. This is the group that started it, which is an international organization all around the world group that focuses on ocean and marine life conservation. Conservation, of course, means saving or protecting something. Last year, 30 artists were invited to take part, to join them. They came from Australia, Mexico, Brazil, the United States, and even more countries. It's an international organization. It means all countries. Pangea Seed also organizes or sets up or designs beach cleanups, educational workshops. They teach people how to conserve the environment and other ways to participate or to join or to help them conserve the environment. Okay. We have three key questions here. What do the participants of Sea Walls, Murals for Oceans do? What, what, did, what are they doing, the artists? Uh, participants create large-scale paintings 
on outdoor walls to blank to environmental issues. So these participants, they see a problem in the environment, in the ocean. So they want people to know about this problem. They want people to see this problem. And how do they do it? They make a big picture, right? Of course, people can see big things easier. So they want people to look at it and to sort of give it attention. So they're trying to bring attention to it. They're saying, hey, look at this. Give me your concentration. Give us your focus. Uh, give us your ears. Uh, B, what are the characteristics of the murals? What can we, how can we describe what the murals are? Each of the murals focuses on a blank such as large amounts of plastic waste in the ocean. So this large amounts of plastic is just one part of the big problems of the ocean. So this is just one subject or one concept or one theme. Another theme could be dolphin uh, hunting or shark killing or whale hunting. These are all different themes in the whole problem of the marine life. C. What is the Pangea Sea Foundation? It is an international organization, a worldwide organization or group that focuses on ocean and marine life blank. So what this group wants to do is they want to save or protect ocean and marine life, meaning all the animals in the ocean. They want to protect them, they want to save them. Uh, that is to conserve. So the conservation of marine life and ocean is their mission. Alright, so we have three key terms here. A, a blank art festival on the island of Cozumel, Mexico in the Caribbean Sea invites artists and environmentalists from around the world. So this festival is special because it never ends, okay? Monday, it's starting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It just keeps going and it never ends. And something that continues, it, there's no end to it, we say that it is continuous. So the cycle of the moon and the sun is a continuous cycle, right? Well, sooner or later it will stop, but, you know, a long, long time later. B, some of the murals are blank while others are literal. So again, we have the opposite word of this is literal. Literal is things that we can touch and see. So maybe the painting is of an apple, right? We can touch an apple, we can see an apple, or a tree, or a house. However, uh, oppositely, the other murals are things that we cannot see, and it's really, we have to use our imagination to see this. So things like love, or ideas, or happiness. We can't really draw what happiness is, right? It's up to the individual's imagination. So that word is called abstract. So literal means things we can touch, we can see, we see the shape, is the shape. But abstract are things that we cannot touch, such as love, and happiness, and friendship. C. Pangea also blank. Beach cleanups, educational workshops, and other ways to participate. So this group, they set up these events. They're setting up, they're scheduling a day. Hey, today we're going to do beach cleanup. Oh, tomorrow we're going to do a class on how to do it. So not only do they tell you, they set the time, they tell you where to go, how to get there, and to set up all these things, we say it is to organize. So to organize means to set everything up into a plan or sort of a scheme. All right. So to review, continuous means it never ends, it continues and there's no stopping. An abstract thing is something that we can't touch, such as love and happiness and friendship. And organizes means to set something up or to really manage or design a plan or event or something like that. Alright, so of course these are just some of the ways that we can help our environment. There are many more ways that even you at home can 
do to help our environment even a little, right? Um, so, thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.